Hey guys, um, this is going to be a bit of a weird video because I've spoke to some people that I know from school that w that I know watch my videos and they've asked me to talk about the experience I've had with ghosts. So here goes, this is going to be weird and <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm going to explain it properly without people thinking I'm weird. But anyway, um, basically I didn't know this when it first started, I was about five maybe, five years old. Um, I would say I might have been younger, I don't really remember, I was very young, um, my granddad was really ill, um, and he was in hospital at the time, <laughs> sorry it's a bit upsetting to speak about, um, but when I was little, my, um, mum and dad told me to the hospital to go see him, and they were like, come on Alex, let's, let's go, let's go talk to your granddad, and I just went, I'm not going in. And the mum and dad were like, oh, come on, Alex, let's, what's wrong? And I was like, there's too many people in there. And they were like, what? Because literally the only person in the room was my granddad. That was it. None of the nurses, none of the doctors. It was just him. And I was just stood there going, no, there's too many people in the room. I'm not going in. So my mum and dad dragged me in, obviously. And that, that was okay. Um, they didn't say anything about that afterwards. But then again... When I was seven years old, um, like I remember this vividly, but then again, I've, I have had experiences, but I'll go back to that. But this is the, the one that I remember. Um, my grandma had just passed away, and like I have like this big kind of picture, this painting on my wall. Um, and I was led in bed, as you do, it was like about two days after my grandma died, and um, I just felt something like really cold tap me on the shoulder, and I was like, oh wake up as you do because <laughs> uh, I thought it was like my parents or something and I looked up at my wall and there she was and I was like oh my gosh but the thing was is that I know my grandma like every time I saw my grandma she was always smiling and this time she wasn't and I didn't know why so I got upset and I started screaming I was like no no you're not here why are you here and I got really scared and then that's when my mum and dad taught me about this but the thing is is that I do have like I remember things that I saw as a child but the thing was is that I don't I didn't see them as ghosts I thought they were actual people that lived in our house like this oh there's so many people <laughs> I get so excited about this um but I, one of them started my phobia of things I'm terrified of clowns um and one experience I had was my grandma and my granddad got me this, um, it was like this doll that was about this big and it was a wind up clown and we used to play like carnival music and I put it on top of my wardrobe and it's like really tall, like my dad can reach it, my dad's like, was well at the time he was like six foot something and he can reach that and then, um, but I couldn't reach it because I was like two foot at <laughs> the most but it wound itself up, it was on the back of my wardrobe it wound itself up and walk and proceeded to walk off my wardrobe and like fell flat on its face but it was still walking and like literally as soon as it fell on the floor it stopped and I picked it up and went oh my gosh and I told my mum and dad and they were like well there's no way it could have done that it just wound itself up because it has to be wound up by hand so I was like that was weird and then um like I've got the corner of my room like over here obviously and my door's there and I used to go to sleep every night as you do <laughs> in your bedroom um and I used to sleep there and be getting ready for bed getting ready and there would be this this man stood there in a clown costume and it would freak me out so much like I just I didn't understand it and I got nightmares over over time I think of it now um uh other things um there used to be an old man that lives in the house like not as in he lived in the house like he probably did live in the house but uh he died here and i didn't realize that and he lived here and he used to sit on the steps and i used to talk to him like every day that i would see him i talked to him and his dog used to sit on the steps waiting and i would just talk to him like it was a normal day and he'd come into my room and talk to me when i was when it's like morning and stuff like that and i didn't realize that he was dead like i totally thought that he was real um, but he would only come at night, so I didn't understand that very much. Um, other experiences. Oh gosh, I've got so many, I don't think I've got time for them. I might have to make a part two. Um, some of my most ex exciting ones. Um, I would, there's um, 
but there's there's a boy in our room. He's probably about sixteen, maybe. Um, he tends to help me quite a lot. He calms me down when I get scared and when I worry about stuff. He tends to be there, like my grandma. She always comes to visit me and she forgives me for what I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're always there for me. Um, there's a little girl which I'm, I think she's related to the boy um, in my room um, and she she knows my name. You know those like those old dolls like they were baby dolls and you used to pull the string and they would say like mama like I was upstairs in my and um, because we've got an attic our house used to have like maids quarters and butler's quarters because it was um, an old Edwardian house and um, I mean it's like quite old um, but I was up there and I have one of those pulled pull the string dolls um, from when I was little that's like one of the things I played with the most um, and I was up there just doing my business looking for my books and I just heard something go Alex and I was like okay there's I don't have any siblings that are younger than me I actually don't have any siblings at all and my parents aren't going to do that because they know that I don't really I don't, I don't know how to put it, I don't really hear ghosts much, I tend to see them more, um, but that freaks me out, I was like, oh, why are you speaking to me? <laughs> um, but, you know, I sorted that out, um, but she she's pretty friendly, so I'm sorted with that, but there's um, there's also a man here in my house, he, he hates me, he literally despises me. Um, I was lying on my bed once and like, you know when you like your hand falls off the side of the bed and you expect to like just pick it up and be like, oh yeah, back to bed. Well, my hand was like, it fell off the bed like that and then I tried to lift it up and it wouldn't go past there and it felt like something was pushing it back and I was like, okay. So it was pushing like that and I just said, get off me. So my hand went back and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a bit weird. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but there was another time that I walked into my room and I just he heard like this, this male voice which is why I know it's a man and it said get here now and I was like um excuse you this is my house now do you mind getting out and I haven't really had any experience with him yet so um I mean things keep falling like I mean that might not be a ghost, it could just be <laughs> gravity, but things do keep falling when I'm stood under them and stuff, so I don't know whether it's that or anything. Um, <laughs> most of the experiences that I've had in the house, I might have like, I might make another video of the experiences that I've had at like my school and stuff like that, which is going to freak some people out. <laughs> I know, um, but yeah, I think I'll leave it at that because I don't want to freak you out too much. Anyway, thank you. Peace, love, and hugs. Go hug someone today and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Mwah.